everyone let's continue the topic of designing of spur gear so here to design the spur gear we are we are going to study the beam strength equation of gear the analysis of bending stresses in gear tooth was done by the wilfred lewis in his paper the investigation of the strength of gear tooth so this beam strength equation is also known as the lewis equation we are considering the lewis equation as the basic equation to design the gear tooth in lewis analysis gear tooth is treated as cantilever beam so here we have the figure gear is treated as cantilever beam and this tangential component ft causes the bending moment about the base of the gear and that's why the bending failure is there and here we are going to design the beam strength equation the maximum tangential force taken by the gear tooth without bending failure okay so for that lewis Uh, consider some assumptions so here we have that assumption firstly effect of radial force is neglected so we know that there is a radial force on the gear and that is neglected while this designing of beam strength equation secondly lewis is considering that tangential force is uniformly distributed over the face width of the gear and that is possible when the gear is rigid and accurately machined again the next assumption is at a time only one pair is in contact and takes a full load so while just studying this beam strength equation the third assumption is that at a time only one pair is in contact and that one pair takes whole load while gear is in rotation so that is the second next assumption then last assumption is effect of stress concentration is neglected so lewis uh, consider this four assumption firstly radial component of the force is neglected then tangential force is uniformly distributed over the face width next is at a time only one pair of gear is in contact and last is the stress concentration is also neglected we start with the equation here we have the gear tooth as an cantilever beam and we know that this cross section of the gear tooth is vary from its free end to the fixed end therefore parabola is considered within the tooth profile so here we just consider the parabola and the advantage of this parabola outline is that a beam it is a beam with uniform strength so the stress at any point of the cross section is uniform or same we know that the weakest section of the gear is at this xx cross section where the parabola is tangent to the tooth profile so at xx cross section bending stress is sigma b equal to m b y divided by i where mb is maximum bending moment y is centroidal distance and i is mass moment of inertia okay so firstly is mb that is maximum bending moment so maximum bending moment is due to this tangential force so it is this tangential force and this perpendicular distance so it is pt into h so let's write it it is pt into h s h is the height then centroidal distance is y so that centroidal distance is this thickness divided by 2 so y is equal to t divided by 2 and lastly mass moment of inertia of this rectangle cross section so it is 1 upon 12 bt cube so we have the dimension of this rectangle cross section it is 1 by 12 bt cube so let's put all this value let us say in equation 1 sigma b is equal to mb is nothing but the pt into h y is t by 2 divided by i is 1 upon 12 bt cube so this two cancel with this so here is the 6 t cancel with this 3 so here is the 
let's rearrange this equation so we get pt is equal to this term is on another side so it is b into sigma b into t square divided by the 6 goes up so it is 6 h so pt is equal to b sigma b t square divided by 6 h let's divide and multiply by m on right side so we get b m sigma b into t square divided by 6 h m okay now this t square divided by 6 h m is nothing but the capital y that is Lewis form factor where so equation become p t is equal to b m sigma b into capital y okay so y is lewis form factor and it is t square divided by 6 h m now when material is same for both and both gear and pinion then pinion is always weaker because this sigma b y for pinion is less when the material is same and as you can see this lewis form factor for pinion this lewis form factor is always less as compared to the gear we know that when this tangential force will be increases stress is also increases and when this stress reaches the permittable magnitude of bending stress with corresponding tangential force pt then it become a beam strength because we know that the beam strength is strength determined by load carried by by the gear at the moment when stress has reaches its maximum value and beam is just about to fail therefore beam strength sb is nothing but the maximum value of tangential force that can transmit the load without bending failure so we can say that beam strength sp is equal to sigma b m b y this is nothing but the lewis equation or beam strength equation of gear now one note is there this beam strength equation always will be greater than effective force f effective or p effective I hope you get the concept. Thank you for watching me. For more video of this part here, please check the playlist which is given in description box. Thank you.